Hello everybody, it's me again, and it's about time, about three days late, that I do my unboxing for Assassin's Creed Origins, the Dawn of the Creed Collector's Edition, not the $800 atrociously priced legendary Dawn of the Creed Edition. Not that one, just the regular Collector's Edition, and if I look a little rosy in the face, which I might not be considering how washed out I am at this point, um, apologies, but my driveway is very long and very steep, and, oh god, this box is huge and heavier than it looks. <laughs> now, I did explain on the, um, also it's a lot darker behind me because it's 4.20 p.m., blaze it, so lighting in my room is not that great, plus it's cloudy, but at least you can see me and the contents of this box. Anyway, I have been telling you guys, um, both on Facebook and in part one of my playthrough, that this is three days late, because I guess a lot of pre-orders for Origins were delayed by a couple days, but to make up for that, Ubisoft gave me a free digital code for the game so I didn't have to wait to play it, and they're also sending me a free lithograph, which is coming separate from this, so I don't have that yet, but the entirety of the Dawn of the Creek Collector's Edition is right here in this box, and I am prepared with scissors. So let's go ahead and get this baby open. I am gonna have to put it down to open it. So give me a moment. Now let me see if I can get this baby open. And not give myself a cardboard cut like I did when I opened my Syndicate uh, Collector's Edition. Okay, it is now open. I think I'm gonna put it here on the bed. Yeah, so you can see it there. And uh, pull it out this way. Oh, hello. And already, <laughs> some stuff just kind of fell out. So it looks like I got the full soundtrack by, um, I don't even know how you pronounce her name. Sarah Shoshner, Skoshner, Shockner, something. I don't know. One of those is probably right. <laughs> and this also here looks like a map. Oh, and it's got cartoon stuff on it. I should be wearing mine. But um, this actually, Collector's Edition does come with a necklace, which I will put on, so that's why I'm not wearing any right now. But see, there's hieroglyphics there on either side of the symbol, whatever it means. I won't take the time to translate it now. Oh, dude, there's a lot of hieroglyphics on the back. Basically, that digital wallpaper. So here's the one side. It's got a bunch of hieroglyphics on it with the Creed symbol in the center. And then on the other side is the entirety of the map in the game. And it's huge. I can't, probably can't even fit it all in one thing there, but yeah, this is the entirety of the map. And, uh, and right here is my game, finally, my physical copy, of the steel book. Oh, this is a steel book! Oh shit, I didn't know that. I knew it was the gold edition, which comes with the season pass and all that. Um, includes game plus deluxe pack plus season pass. So... And it's in 4K Ultra HD. Let me open it! Owie, stab myself with the scissors. Ow! Well, there's the injury for the unboxing. Ah, uh, not really. It didn't, it didn't even break the skin, so I'm fine. I mean, it's in a steel book already, people. Come on. Ow. You don't need to make me freaking hurt myself. I don't need to sacrifice a finger to be an assassin anymore. Come on, we're past that. I'm, I'm cutting it off. I'm ripping it off. I don't give a fuck. There. Okay, hold on. Screw you, buddy. That's one way to get it off. So there's the steel book. After like five minutes of trying to rip the damn thing open. So on the front here, there's Bayek. And on the back is one of those like Anubis worshippers. Don't really know who that is. One of the targets, probably. But I wouldn't know. And there's more tape! And there it is. There's my game, plus the season pass. Just like this. There. So this, the season pass, if you guys missed it, comes with a bunch of stuff, including a single player DLC called Trial of the Gods, I think. Which looks really cool, and I'm totally gonna play that for you. I don't know if it's story or a set of just really awesome side quests, I don't know. But either way, I'm doing it. But guys, we haven't even opened the box yet. So here's the box, finally, if you'll pod me. Okay. 
Ubisoft Store Exclusive. That is a huge box. Look at this box. It's huge. So it's got the assassin symbol on this side. And uh, here we go. And then on this side, it has the scarab, which is... Which god, which Egyptian god is a scarab, isn't it? Is that Kepri, I think? Oh, here we go. It opens like this, so. So you pull it from up here, like that. Oh, they, oh my god, he's huge! He is huge! Oh, please don't fall out, honey. There you go. And there's my statue! It's kind of hard to see because of all the shiny plastic, but I'll get him out in a sec. Yeah, I actually, before I pre-ordered this edition, I had the, the Gods edition pre-ordered. But then I found out it doesn't come with the Season Pass, which sucked, and I wanted that. And also, um... Shut up! The statue that came with it, I didn't like as much as this one. I think it's sort of similar to the Connor statue. He's like on a rock. But A, this one comes with Senu, and uh, I like the pose better. So, I, I upgraded. And this edition, actually, I don't know exactly when, but like a couple weeks before the game launched, I went to double check just to make sure that it was going to be shipping day one instead of a couple days late, which ended up happening anyway. Um, and this edition actually sold out so on the Ubisoft store, so th this was actually out of stock, so I was lucky I grabbed it. And there's cheap all over it, so give me a second. Uh, here's this bow, or a bow. Not sure which one it is, but yeah, it's a real string and everything on it. And then he's firing three of them at a time. So here's the arrows. Here's Senu, Bayek's eagle companion with a missing leg. What? Oh, there's her other leg. Her other leg is attached to the shield on his back. So she's missing a leg right now, but when I attach her, she'll be... So we're ready to go. But there's Senu. Let me guess, there's more tape. Like I give a shit. Okay, there we go. And here's the rest of him. So this looks like the remains of an old Egyptian column. And he's on it, firing his bow. So how cool is that? I love this statue. And just the details on these. I always bring it up every time I open a new one. But the detail is incredibly striking. You'd think something like this would be $200 on its own. But I'm getting so much more shit with it as well. So it's such a bargain. And, uh, but normally, I'm just putting him down for a second. You know, I wouldn't even normally consider paying $200 for a special edition. 120 Eh? Yes. You know, I've been doing that since 2012. I've been getting a special edition for every Assassin's Creed since 3. But $200? I was like, that seems a little steep. But we didn't get an Assassin's Creed game last year, so I splurged a little this year. But anyway, this is the box he was in. Ugh. Look at that. So I could stand him up in this if I had the space. Which I, you know what? I might be able to do right there. But we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. I still have the necklace to get out. So let me go ahead and get this out and put this on. The necklace is actually um, a skull pendant of an eagle. Which looks like the Assassin's Creed symbol. Those of you who, you know, we've kind of known that for a while, but... Yeah, the underside of the eagle skull. Look at that. It's the Assassin's Creed symbol. So now we know where they got it from. And then here's on the side. Pretty cool, huh? It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. But it's like a life-size, it's fake, but it's like a life-size skull. And uh, there we go. <laughs> so I could wear these uh, in my videos too, as well as uh, my cartouche that my grandparents gave me with my name on it. But yeah. So here's the necklace. I was really excited about the necklace. The string's a little long. Might have to do something about that. But yeah. Not that that's a complaint. It's easily changed. And now let's get to putting you together. Just like this. Okay. So maybe I should put the bow on first and then put Senu on the top. Yeah, this, this arrow thing is bothering me because they're not staying. They just pop right out. My light's getting low, but there's the statue. Fully assembled, arrows, bow, and all. Oh, and the, not fully assembled because I forgot about the eagle. My bad. <laughs> so here's Senu. And uh, this is the last piece that we need. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Let's give you your other leg back, honey. Assembled! So that's with the bow, the arrows, and Senu in the background. That's it. That's the statue. 
Just make sure I'm fluid here. There we go. How cool is that? I love it. I love it. It took... The, the arrows were a bit annoying, honestly, because they, they wouldn't really fit. But it's awesome. This is awesome, and I love it. So this is uh, the statue, which is going to be going right back here, just like that, during my playthrough. And I might end up putting this, this stand with the details behind him, but oh god, who knows? But see, thing is, when I showed you this, there's a drawer under here, right there. So let's open it up. Here we are. And here is my art book. Among something else, maybe? Oh, what's this? This is... Oh, lithographs! You got two lithographs! Now these aren't the ones that they're sending me because it's late. And again, there's the cartouche stuff again. I don't know what that says. But I'll, I'll, I'll decode it all later. And then this is, of course, more hieroglyphics. But those are definitely going up on my wall. So this is my art book. There it is. Art book. Right there. So if we were to open it up... Assassin's Creed Origins. Contents. Siwa, Alexandria, Nile Delta, Giza and Memphis, Fayum, Kyrenaika, Chiron, and present day. So this is all like concept art, basically. There's Siwa. Some characters. Looks like Bayek's here. Oh, they're all Bayek. Okay, so they're all Bayek. <laughs> and then, oh, that's beautiful. So there's some with the pyramid right there. And then some water, again, with the pyramid. So this is Giza, Mef Memphis. Here's Fayum. So yeah, we're not going to go through the whole thing, but I love art books because they're, they're really inspiring to me as an artist. And there's a snake on the back. Is that Apep, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, well, it's a cobra specifically, so it could be Apep, but... So that's it! Uh, that's my steelbook plus game plus season pass and all stuff. Gold edition of the game, essentially, in a steelbook. And then here's my map and two lithographs, which will absolutely go up on my wall. There's the art book and my glorious statue. Soundtrack, necklace, right here. And, uh, that's it! So that's finally the unboxing of my Assassin's Creed Origins... Dawn of the Creed Collector's Edition, and it may have been a couple days late, but it was still worth the wait because it's all incredible, and I am so excited to continue playing this game. So I'm going to install my version of the game now, and then replay up to the point where we left off. I think part four is the end um, until this, until I start playing my actual version of the game. Um, so that'll start in part five, and uh, probably episode three, two or three of Shenanigans, probably. Be prepared to see Bayek back there in the future of all of my videos, essentially. Probably until the next Assassin's Creed. And um, that just about does it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Origins. Farewell, friends.